In the last 24 hours, Luca Corberi has changed from being a relative unknown to being the most hated man in karting. Today we are going to talk about what exactly happened for the situation to arise. On October 4th, 2020, the FIA World Karting Championship held its sixth round out of seven for the 2020 championship in Lonato, located here in North Italy. Several classes of karting raced in that day's event, including the KZ class, the KZ2 class, and the Academy class. The class of racing we will focus on today is the KZ class. Something important to know about this track is that driver Luca Corberi's father owns and operates the racetrack used for this event. Overall, I thought that the racing itself was pretty good. I myself have never watched karting before today, and there were a good amount of sportsmanship and close battles between all of the drivers. Driver Jeremy Iglesias of France was an absolute class of the field, having qualified on pole and winning the final event of the day, fending off the rapid Dutchman Marin Kramers throughout the entire day. But during that race, we see our man Luca Corberi lose his car into the barrier on lap 9. And Federer is going to try again. Oh, and that's Luca Corberi. Oh, well, the dream is over. On home soil, he wanted a nice return to glory, and it hasn't worked out. So Luca Corberi off of the first turn by the look of it. I would not be surprised if that was an engine seizure. And the car to snapped away from him. Accidents are always a matter of if, and not when they happen in motorsport. It's like weather in England. It's just, you always know it'll be awful. And anyway, Corberry decides he isn't quite done with his involvement in this race, even though he's retired. Laps completed, 15 to go. And there's Luca Corberry watching at the side of the road. What's he doing? What is Luca Corberry playing at? Oh, Luca Corberry, what on earth is he doing? I'm sorry, that is absolutely unacceptable. As Kramers makes the move on Baz Lammers, Luca Corberry makes himself public enemy number one. I'm sorry, that is absolutely unacceptable. And he's going to completely negate the officials. They're going to walk across the circuit with him, but Luca Corberry is walking in and he should be waiting at the marshal post. So up front, it's Iglesias leading. Kremers second from Lammers. Fourth is Federer. Longhi, Hiltbrandt, Tosolini, Pohaka, Pex and Denner. So I would guess then that maybe it wasn't an engine seizure. He clearly feels that somebody's done him wrong in some way. Iglesias leads. So Corberry decides to take matters into his own hands when he rips the front wing off his cart and throws it at the driver he thinks crashed into him in attempts to, what, kill him? Injure him? I seriously cannot think of an argument in favor of Corberry. He's literally thrown bits of his own cart at other drivers and he ignores all of the marshals trackside. And he also takes a stroll down the racetrack while the race is still in progress. Smart man he is. The commentators thought that initially Corberry's problem was an engine seizure, but they have become aware that another driver may have instead had a coming together with Corberry, leading to his retirement from the race. And it is proven once videos from the paddock after the race leaked showing Corberry, along with his father, the owner of the racetrack, assaulting another driver. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Luca Corberry now has zero escape from this incident, and headlines around the world are now circulating. Former F1 world champion Jensen Button shared his two thoughts on the matter over Twitter, and his message was very clear, saying, Luca Corberry has just destroyed any chance he has at a racing career after his disgusting behavior today at the FIA Karting World Champs. His father owns the circuit and is seen power driving the guy into a wall. Life ban for both of these idiots, please. What do you guys think should happen to Corberry? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming very, very soon. And until next time, cheers.